Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use region anchor points for editing in Logic Pro. Anchor points allow you to set where regions snap to the grid. So by default, when you move an audio region around, you'll see this white line at the front of the region. That's showing where the region anchor point is. So if you use a snap mode like division, and I'm in absolute grid, for example, if I move this clip around, it's going to snap to the grid at the front of the region. However, in my song here, I've got this section where a lot of the instruments drop out for a couple beats, and I want these reversed effects to come in, and I want them to be aligned with this grid division, the third beat of bar 33. And as you can see right now, I cannot snap this to that point. I'd actually have to turn off snap mode and sort of eyeball it, and then turn snap mode back on. Now for some things that might work just fine, but I find anchor points incredibly helpful if you need to snap the end or a certain area within a region to the grid. So the way you can change the anchor point is you just double click on any audio region. This will take you to the track editor most likely, and then you can just click on file to open the file editor. And down here in the lower left corner, you'll see this little anchor icon, and it even says anchor here. You can click on this and drag it over and you can set the anchor point wherever you want it to go. So in my case, I might want this at the very end. And this is not just an issue of snapping this to the beginning or end of the region. I can actually put the anchor anywhere I like. So for example, I'm gonna put it right here, and then I'll press E to exit the editor. I'll go ahead and make sure snap mode is turned on, and I'll make sure I'm on snap regions to absolute value. And now when I grab this, you'll see that there's that white line at the end of the region, but it's not at the very end of the region. If I snap this over to the third beat of bar 33 and zoom in a bit, you'll see that the snap point is actually exactly where I put the anchor in the file editor. And then if I wanted to, I could go ahead and, you know, I could trim this off if I wanted to. So if I want to get rid of that little bit of overlap there, I could do that. Down here, I have another reversed effect that ends somewhere around here, so I'll just double click on that. And again, here's the anchor in the lower left corner. Just drag that wherever you want it to go. Press E to exit the editor. And now I can snap this wherever I like at that anchor point. So again, you're seeing that the white line there is somewhere in the middle of the region, and I can snap it right there. And then if I want to, I can go ahead and just sort of trim this up a bit more if I like. I'll add a quick fade here. Okay, so let's listen to this section now with these two effects added in. Now, if you're working with like a lot of house or trance music, you probably work with a lot of uplifter riser effects, a lot of white noise effects kind of like this. Let me go ahead and just solo this and show you what I'm talking about. And when you're copying and pasting a lot of these types of effects throughout your song, it can be kind of frustrating to have to go back and forth between snapping to grid and not snapping to grid to set these in the right location. So region anchors are perfect for effects like this as well. You just grab the anchor, move it over to the middle of the region where the impact is, which is about right there. And I'll press E to get out of the editor, make sure I'm snapping to the grid and absolute value. And now I can drag this around and you can see that the anchor point is right there in the middle of the region. So that's how you can use region anchor points in Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Before I go, I just want to remind you that my giveaway for the Ska Street Heart wireless monitoring system is still up for six more days. So at the time of making this video, this is April 6th, 2022, and the contest will run until April 15th. So if you're interested in this, check out my studio upgrade video where I integrated this product into my home studio and click the link in the video description below to enter to win. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.